Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example 11 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I've completed the examples 1 to 6 and exercises 3.1 and 3.2. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 11 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables says the ratio of incomes of two person is 9 to 7 and the ratio of their expenditures is 4 is to 3. If each of them manages to save rupees 2000 per month, find their monthly incomes. So here we have two person whose income is in the ratio of 9 is to 1. Here 9 is the income of the first person and 7 is the income of the second person. 9 is to 7 means if we multiply 9 by 1000, the same number we have to multiply by 7 we will get here 9000 is to 7000. Here again if we cancel 3 zeros and 3 zeros we will be left with 9 by 7 or 9 is to 7. So this is just a ratio what they have given but we have to find out the actual income of the first two person and they have given us the ratio of their expenditure is 4 is to 3. If each of them manages to save rupees 2000 per month find their monthly income. Income is what they earn right and expenditure is what they spend the amount of money they spend is called expenditure what they save after spending the amount from what they earn is given as the saving so both the person save rupees 2000 every month now we have to find out their monthly income we will assume their monthly incomes to be x and expenditures to be y. So let us write down what is given first. They have given us ratio of the incomes of two person is 9 is to 7. Now let the income of the first person be 9x and the income of the second person be 7x. Let income of first person be 9x. We are assuming x and we are multiplying with 9. x can be any number. It can be 1000, 100 or any number. Similarly, let the income of second person be x into 7 will be 7x. Again, what they have given, they have also given us their expenditures. The ratio of expenditures is it is in the ratio of 4 is to 3. So if we assume the expenditures to be some y term multiplying y with this ratio we will get expenditure of the first person will be 4y and the expenditure of the second person will be 3y. So let us write down the let expenditure of first person be 4y. Similarly let the expenditure of second person be 3y. Now you should also know that whatever income we get subtracting the amount you spend or the expenditures you have will give you the savings right income minus expenditure or the amount you spend in your daily life will give you the saving whatever is left over money with you after you spend will give you the savings so using this relationship we will form the equations now so let us first form the equation for the first person so you can write here we know that income minus expenditure will give you the saving so for the first person what was the income 9x minus what is the expenditure of the first person it is 4y and that is equal to savings it is 2000 rupees so let this be equation number one similarly for the second person we can form the equation as what is the income of the second person 7x so 7x minus expenditure is 3y 7x minus 3y is equal to the savings that is 2000 okay so let this be equation number so here we have formed a linear pair of equations so now we have to find out the x and y value to determine the income of two person so we will use here the elimination method what is the first step of the elimination method whichever variable you are eliminating of those variables in both the equations must be equal so here let us eliminate y term we have to make the coefficients of both the equations y term to be equal so let us multiply the second equation by 
4 and first equation by 3. You have to take the coefficient of the second equation of y term and multiply to the first equation and similarly you have to take the coefficient of first equations y term and multiply to the second equation. So by elimination after multiplying we are going to obtain 9 into 3 it is 27x minus 4 into 3 is 12y equal to 3 into 2 is 6 so it will be 6000 here. Similarly second equation 4 into 7 is 28x minus 4 into 3 is again 12y equal to 4 into 2 is 8000. Okay, so here you observe the y term which we had to eliminate. The coefficients become equal with the same sign again. So if the sign is same, again we have to change the sign. So let us change the sign of the second equation. The plus will become minus, minus will become plus and since here we have plus and plus, so this will become minus again. So now let us subtract. So here since we have plus and minus, so 27 minus 28 will give you 1x with a greater number sign since 28 is a greater number we will get minus 1x and here this plus 12y and minus 12y will get cancelled is equal to again we have plus and minus sign so we will subtract with a greater number sign. So 8000 minus 6000 will give you minus 2000. So here this minus and minus will get cancelled so we will obtain our x value as equal to 2000. Now since we got our x value here let us substitute this x value in our equation 1 and find out the y value. So substituting x equal to 2000 in equation 1. So from equation 1 we have 9 into x is 2000 minus 4 4y is equal to 2000. So 9 into 2 it is 18,000 minus 4y is equal to 2000. So let us send this 4y to right hand side and this 2000 let us bring it to left hand side. So we'll get 18,000. This 2000 will become minus 2000. Minus 4y will become 4y. 18 minus 2000 will become 16,000 equal to 4y. Now to find out y, we will send this 4 to the other hand side. So we will get 16,000 divided by 4. So cancelling 4 1 times, 4 4s are 16, 3 zeros will be left. Therefore we will get y value as equal to 4,000. So we got x value as 2,000 and y value as 4,000. So this is not the end of the result. We have to find out their monthly income. Monthly income of the first person is 9x and monthly income of the second person is 7x. So let us multiply this x term in 9x and 7x and find out their incomes. Therefore, monthly income of first person is equal to 9 into what is x value we got 2000 so that will be 9 into 2 is 18,000 similarly monthly income of the second person it is 7 into x 7 into 2000 that will be 14,000 rupees. So this is the result. Here they have asked us the income. So we multiplied with 9x and 7x. If they ask you expenditure, then you have to multiply y value that is 4000 in 4y and 3y and find out the expenditures. Okay, this is also a very important problem. Hopefully you have understood this example where we have used the elimination method. This is how we solve this example 11. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving example 12 from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and cert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you